Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. And I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm outside. Sun is coming out, shining. That's a positive, positive thing. Always good. I mean, it's okay to have gloomy days too. Some And some people like gloomy days. I have friends that love gloomy days. I prefer the sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine comes out and it's like, okay, it just feels like it's going to be a great day regardless of whatever happens. <laughs> Gloomy days, you're kind of like, eh, let's snuggle on the couch and watch a movie, which is good to do too. We had one of those this weekend. This weekend was kind of a mixed of day weekend. It was like rainy and then just gloomy and then it turned to sun later in the day, but it made for a good restful weekend. So we had a good, it was one of those weekends to catch up on sleep, which I was thankful for. So we did a lot of good, a lot of resting, a lot of resting, which is a good thing. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready to start my week out. We're supposed to have beautiful blue sky 80, I think it's gonna be 86 today, 86 degrees, nice and hot, hot, hot. So I'm gonna get the pool going so that we can swim this afternoon after we get our school and life and chores, food, all those fun things that we have to do every single day. Routine, 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 right? So we gotta go in, we're gonna go in, we got some picking up to do. We did, we did do some cleaning up this weekend, but not. Uh, there's always something on Monday. So I've got things to pick up, things to get my house in order for the week. Got to make some food, all the above. It's going to be a great day today. I hope that your morning is starting out right. If it's not, you know what? Hopefully by the end of the video, hopefully by the the afternoon today, you'll be like, okay, life's a little bit better. So I've got some encouragement for you today. And this encouragement comes from Galatians 6, 9. Let us not grow weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. I think this can go for, don't mind the trucks driving by. I think this can go for, for everybody. Like, how weary are you in life? Like as a mom with lots of little kids, yeah, get very weary, very weary when to give up. As a working outside of the home mom, you get very weary of doing things. As a caretaker of your, your mom, you can get weary of doing things. I mean, anything you do in life, you can become weary doing, right? Yes. So I know in my own life, sometimes I can get weary of doing things and I'm just like, I have to always stop myself and I have to go, okay, what is it? that I can do to persevere and keep going in those areas. And sometimes it's hard, especially if you're working towards like a long-term goal of something that you wanna do and it just seems like eh, you're never gonna get there, you're never gonna get there. Maybe you're paying off a bunch of debt, maybe you're working with a relationship, maybe you're training your children to use the bathroom, anything. I know it sounds crazy, but those those little things become weary when over and over and over. Maybe you're just cleaning your house, maybe you're just getting through your days, maybe you're waiting for the end of the school year. I don't know what the thing is that's making you weary, but I'm sure something is. So what are those small steps you can make today? That's your, that's your thought today. It's like, what can I take to take a small step to work towards that goal to keep going towards my thing so sometimes i know for myself it's it's just recharging and i know some days even in my own life i think i get up and i'm like i don't even want to film today i don't even want to do things and i will take breaks if i need that that's not a problem in my life but i know what i've promised myself to do i, I know what i said i was going to do i know what i promised and so i'm like i want to stick to those promises i want to keep doing those things and so sometimes it might just be a short one or sometimes it might be a like okay i just got to get something in the morning here i just have to get through my day or let me just not say anything and just do a voiceover for something for the day or do something a little bit different so you can always change your mindset on what you have to do because sometimes you don't want to but sometimes there's days that you just the other day like when maxine's paw was hurt and my allergies were all like feeling miserable i'm like i don't want to do anything today and i really had a hard time air conditioner's trying really had a hard time like motivating myself to get anything done and so it was a it was one of those days of just not feeling amazing and so i'm like okay but i'm like well I'll post something I'll share something and then you know what that's okay tomorrow it'll be more and then the next day it was more so what is something in your own life where you're like okay I'm getting tired I'm getting weary what is it like look at it reevaluate it and see is there something I can change to make this better change it and then okay keep going take that small step to keep on going so we're gonna have a great day today I've got my cup of coffee out here it's nice. It's kind of chilly this morning, which is good. So that chilly morning air reminds me of the mountain. Well, kind of like the mountain air. Mountain air is a little more damp. Feels like misty, like salty air. Feels like that salty air. So I know it's going to be a great day today. I'm going to turn the pool on so we can have a great day. We're going to go and let's get our stuff done because I got work to get done to get out the door and then come back do school and kids and life, all the good things and get out the pool today. You guys ready for a great day? I am ready for a fantastic, wonderful Motivation Monday. All right, let's go. Well, as you can see, we have tons of dishes. We have a whole sink full of dishes. We have that and we have the dishwasher full. So I am gonna, I think I'm gonna put away the dishwasher because we have a lot here and I could hand wash all these, but I think I'm just gonna put them in the dishwasher for more. Look at the flowers. 
I wanted to, uh, these I got from Miss Barbara for Easter. And look at them, she got them on Amazon? Like I've had, um, we've had flowers from florists everywhere else. And you know, they, they don't always look, they, they last, they do, they look pretty. But they sometimes like die, they look all brown. Look at these, these, they were all closed. And then like they're all opening up. They are gorgeous. I was like, wow, highly impressive. Amazon flowers, very, very nice. So these are a nice little thing. I would change the water here today. Beautiful thing right there. So let's empty the dishwasher so we don't have so many dishes and then we'll reload it. Maxine just woke up. Update on Maxine. She's doing great. She's walking normal. Where's she at? She's weird. She, wait, she needs her dog phone. Hold on. She's getting smart. She used to go out and use the bathroom and then come in and then get her dog bone. So now she kind of like walks outside the door and then like sniffs the air, comes back and wants her bone. So she's doing great. Her paw is like she seems completely fine. She's jumping up and down. She did, um, like she jumped off my bed, which is pretty high bed. Um, and then she uh, kind of limped for like a second this weekend. And I was like, oh, don't do that too much. But she's been doing good. She's gone up and down the stairs. I gave her a bath. I wanted to give her a bath. I just didn't want to do it after she was uh, having her paw all bad. So I gave her a bath this weekend. So she seems to be doing all better back to herself, you know, chasing squirrels, barking, all those good things that dogs do. <laughs> So she is doing much better. So it's all good. All right. Dishes. That wasn't too many to wash up and put in the dishwasher. I think I'm going to. My Norwex towels. Um, once in a while you have to strip those. You have to take them and. Hold on a second. I got a broken tripod here. Let me go over this way. I got a broken tripod. So the other one should be. I thought it was going to be here Friday. It's going to be here today. So anyway. So the Norwex cloths. They have like. Um, you want. Like you're supposed to use like um, natural stuff. Like natural soap. All that stuff. I don't all the time because I use my dish soap in there in my sink and it gets soap on it. So it gets built up with stuff on it. Like it all gets stuck in there basically. You've heard of people stripping their clothes, stripping their laundry, right? Doing that. You've seen people do that on their line. You're like, yeah, that's gross. In reality, it's everything. So you basically do the same thing, but you just have to boil them. I boil them in a little bit of Norwex um, laundry detergent. It gets all the yuck out. So I'm going to do that today um, after I rinse up my sink here and then I will do that. So I'm trying to, I have all these Christmas soaps here that I bought, I bought one for each bathroom and then I realized we don't even use them that much because we had, um, out here I use my dish soap when I wash my hands and in like a couple of the bathrooms, it's like they don't always use this bathroom so it gets, just doesn't get used up and we have a lot of hand soap we brought from when we moved from the mountains. So anyways, <laughs> so I'm trying to use it up. So I just used it with a little bit of bleach to scrub and use that up. It's a good way to use up the dish soap. I use it in here and the bleach will help kill stuff as well. Okay, let's start wiping stuff down. Something I forget, we have our butter in here. Remember I bought butter sticks so that I could uh, use this thing. I forget about it. You just have to make sure you rinse out your water. I keep it over here because if it's over there, I just don't see it. So you just gotta change the water out every day. That's all. But I put it right by my sink because then it's like, if it's out of sight, I don't mind. I forget about it, then, you know, it's going to go bad. So let's wipe up the counters.
So what I do, I got you lower. Oh, you know I can do it. Hold on. I can move up the top part. There we go. The one little bracket on my stand is broken, so but I can move you up this way. So I'm gonna boil these. I have more of these elsewhere, probably in the laundry basket, but I'm gonna put just a little bit. This is you could just use a natural laundry cleaner or soap something even I'll do this and I'll do vinegar I find like if I just use like just water it's okay but um if I just use if I use this it seems like it gets cleaner so I'm going to take my washcloths and just stick them in here let's see I mean I can fit in here comfortably I've got a lot of these things but they are so good every day we use a new one every single day so I'm gonna do these I put I'm gonna get a little bit of room seven in there and I'll do more because I have, um, I know I've got some in my laundry basket back there. Let's do, let's do one of these I just used. Okay, so all you do is take this to your stove. Let me get another pot, I've got more pots. Oh my goodness, we've broken more glass dishes here. We, like I had kids, right? We always use melamine plates like you know the melamine ones that will not break um we always had plastic cups always did because kids dropped we had tile floors in the kitchen and they would just break so that i bought glasses and we broke so many <laughs> we broke so many because they just slip out of your hand they do whatever same thing here we have i had so many glass cups when we moved here this at our shelf i think the whole bottom one or maybe the second one was completely covered with glasses there's not even that many in there. I'm like, wow, they definitely, I mean, they just get broken. We have, I guess the, I don't know, maybe it's the porcelain sink. Like, I know they get broken being in the sink. Um, I don't know if stainless steel would not be as, like, broke, get as broken. I don't know. We'll put them in here on those. I'll, I'll set them in there too. It happens to me too. They get cracked or they drop or, you know, whatever. It just happens with life. But I just had to laugh. I'm like, they literally have, like, a small amount now. <laughs> And that was just one year, not even a year ago. We moved in nine months ago, I think. So it's like, there's definitely, they definitely get used and broken, but you now they won't last forever. So just put a little bit of this in there and you're just gonna boil these. I'll probably go back and I'm doing laundry here and we'll see if we can find some more that are clean. So this is perfect and just let these boil. It does the same method if you take bleach and do it. My mom used to use, um, which I think is a great thing to get out stains, like if you have, like clothes that have colors that you can't get out the stain on them. If you mix, it has to be, she would use the name brand stuff. Did I use non-name brand? Yeah, I use non-name brand. Okay, use one, you have to use equal amounts exactly. My dad still does this, he does this, so I know it works. You use a cup of bleach and a cup of dishwashing crystals, like this dish, you know, crystals for your dishwasher. It has to be exact. So if you use a half a cup, use a half a cup. Mix that in with hot water. You can't do it in your um, washer, your high efficiency one does not work um unless no i think unless you can fill it up but you can't so do this in a sink or a tub or wherever and then mix it with really hot water till it's all dissolved and then put in anything that has colors test your test an area first it'll like strip it really nice without taking out the color that works really really good and then um you have to do a couple of rinses i used to do that once in a while with my um cloth diapers because you know cloth diapers kids use them they stain it happens the sun doesn't always get every single thing out and so i would take those and strip them once in a while and then it made them like brand new again worked great for kids clothes i mean stains anything anything you get a stain on even like a grease stain that it really does work a whole lot. So my, my dad still does it. I still talk to him. He's like, yep, I got my bucket of water. And I'm, you know, doing this to my clothes. I'm like, go you, dad. <laughs> because it just doesn't take out the color, which bleach, you know, takes out color. So most of the time it takes out color. So awesome. Okay, I think I'm done in the kitchen here for now, which is good. Um, it's awful sunny, so it's kind of hard. I will come back. I'll clean up my refrigerator. Kind of got to see what I got for food and stuff. And I know we've got laundry to do, that kind of stuff. The living room is pretty much picked up because the kids pick that up for us this weekend so I'm gonna move that way probably work on my bedroom get that stuff done let's go in there so out there is clean everything is done I've got I went through I had a basket of laundry on the washer so I grabbed out the Norwex put those in the pot to boil I'm gonna wash my bedding I've got my first one does anybody else hang theirs like on a door because it's like you put it in the dryer and it like gets it into a ball and it, if I didn't have any other way to dry it I just open it back up put it back in but instead of running the dryer again, I just hang it up over a door. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just do that. We're hanging outside, but we don't have a really place to hang outside. So I'm gonna wash this so this can go in the laundry.
Okay, bedroom is pretty much cleaned up, so I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna do, um, just pick up in here. I've got, I got my mess. It's one of, I was going to my drawer and I'm like, where's all my ponytail things? You know when you have, like, you get these, you have like 50 ponytail holders, and then you're like, oh, am I ever gonna use these? Yeah, and today I looked, there was like one left. I'm like, where are my ponytails? So I found like five next to my bed. So I'm like, okay. It's one of those things that you, you just you look and you see you have a ton, and then all of a sudden you have nothing left. So. Make sure I put that in there. I'm running low on lotion. I use lotion every day. I use my sweat lotion. And, I'm not, and I didn't buy any because that's something I don't think about. So I know it's the end of the month and I will be going shopping eventually. So I will be putting, I have a little bit of this left that I usually use like with socks on to put on your heels. You know, to get them soft. So I'm put this in here. So we use this later. And we have like leftover um, lotion from like hotel visits, things like that. So I've got those in there. So that's the salsa. That's my, that's what I go to when I have allergies. I don't know. I know different stuff works for different people. Mine is alka seltzer. I don't know why, it just works. Some people, like certain things, like Mucinex works. I have some kids that certain things work for them. Mine is that. I'm gonna leave out the clippers because Craig has to cut the boy out of so that'll is there even anything in this? It's just all pieces. <laughs> he must have put it in here. So I'll leave this right here so he can do the boy's hair and I'm just gonna clean up and do a quick wipe of everything and we'll be good in here. And the stuff is boiling out there, so I'll probably, I just went out there and kind of stirred it a little bit, picked it up, so I'll have to go out there and get that taken care of real quick. But it's gonna be a good morning. I'm feeling like, okay, I'm gonna run Brooklyn here in a few to get her to work, but it's uh, going good. Sometimes I use wipes, it depends on what I have. I got these, we had these when we moved here. So I have a bunch of wipes. I don't really like wipes at all, at all. So maybe I'll save that for like the toilet, save that. But what I like to do is it gets hairspray and stuff built up on there. So I like to use a magic eraser once in a while and get that off. Just empty. Clean the bathroom, the toilet back there. So I'm just gonna put a bag here in my trash cans. I always forget to put extra bags in the bottom. I think someone recommends doing that in my kitchen. I can't in my kitchen because we have had way too many times where garbage seeps below and gets everything wet and gross. But in here, that's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna put extra, put like two in here. I tell my kids, I'm like, don't put, um, like, don't make sure you unhook them. You don't put them together because when you go to pull them out, you're always trying to rip it off the other bag. So I'm gonna put this here. I ended up giving, I got Maxine shampoo in here. I gave her a bath in here, which worked out so much better. We usually give her a bath in the sink, but you know, she hates her bath, period. And so um, I already cleaned it. She, she hates her bath anyways, but this allowed her to be down in there. She couldn't like really try to, you know, like get up to get out. It was just a nice, I put a towel on the bottom. So I think, I think that's maybe Maxine's bad substance. We rarely use it. So it's good. Let's go clean the shower. What works good in the shower? I don't know. I've, I've tried a lot of different things in here. What I found so far that I like is my scrub. I used to use Magic Erase in here. It just, um, I mean, it's fine. It cleans it, but I have a scrub daddy, which I don't really like this for dishes. I got it for Christmas and, um, and then my Norix powder. So I just kind of wet it, put it in here and scrub. I feel like this does a good job and everything. So I'm gonna scrub away in here real quick. All right, done in the bathroom here. I'm like, I wanted to, um, under the lip on the bottom, there was like mold. I'm like, ooh, like I spray usually in my shower when I'm done with bleach to get in the corners because you know, mold girls. And so I went underneath the ledge. I'm like, ah, obviously I missed that. So there was a lot of black mold, disgusting. So I just scrubbed it out, got it all clean, clean the outside, inside, just wiped it with the towel. It's done. Let's go back in the kitchen because our cloths I know are done. This is how you look. You've seen the strip things, right? Where it's all, look at, gross brown water. 
same thing with the Norex. So I'm just gonna dump this out. Rinse these really good, put a little bit of vinegar in there and reboil them. The only thing I have to do still is vacuum my floor. Then I'm running Brooklyn to work and then I'll get back and the kids are gonna be doing their chores, we're gonna do school, all that good stuff. Probably make a smoothie in there for them. So I still have my still have my photos right here on the ground. These are something I haven't done anything with. We bought those at Hobby Lobby months ago. They're still sitting there. <laughs> Eventually I'll do something with them. So let me do a good vacuum. Normally I would take them and put them on clothespins and hang them on like a hanger, but I don't have that many clothespins so it's, it's breezy today. There's not, it's not a high pollen content day, content day so I'm gonna just put them on the backs of the chairs here. Pretty much lay them on anything I can. I'll come back in a little bit. If I, oh, there goes Maxine, ready for her squirrel. I'm gonna come back and um, I'll move those if I need to. Sunshine, nice breezy, it's a great day. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, the kids had their smoothies for breakfast, I didn't film any of that, but something they wanted yesterday was some pizzas, and so we just had a lot of leftovers. We actually pulled out the emergency ramen last night, and so I'm going to do, um, I'm thinking pizzas. I'll make enough pizza dough and then um, we can probably make pizzas outside, which would be kind of neat. And then we can have them for lunches this week. I think that'll just be something simple and easy to do. So what I'm gonna do for our pizza, I just stuck our dough outside. Can you do that? Like I never put pizza dough outside. It's like in the bright sunshine. I'll just watch it obviously so nothing gets it. I'm gonna make some pizza sauce. I'm just gonna do tomato sauce right here and put in a pot with a little bit of spices, garlic and Italian seasoning, a little bit of sugar, salt, put it on the stove so it heats up. That's good. I pulled this out of the freezer. This, hopefully it's Alfredo, pretty sure it is. Yeah, yep, Alfredo. Cause they, some might use that, some might use the pizza sauce. That'll be good. We've got cheese, I found a big, chunk of mozzarella in the freezer we can use. I've got some shredded. That'll be good. And then dinner. You know what we're doing for dinner? We're, repur we're repurposing. I know that doesn't sound like a nice word. We're repurposing leftovers. <laughs> the taco meat that we, didn't we have chili dogs? We repurposed it into the uh, walking tacos. There's still a whole container left. We already had it this weekend because it was a lot because I added beans to it. So we're going to put it in the slow cooker and I'm going to add a bunch of beans to it and we're, we're stretching it making it in chili. Chili is easy. We love it. The way that we make the sauce would be taco seasoning and um, ranch powder. That's it. I'm going to add corn and a whole bunch of beans to it. That's dinner. Easy. Everybody likes it. And then taking a leftover that normally would just get thrown away and using it because it's good.
Okay, we are busy doing school, so we haven't even touched these chores yet. <laughs> so my pizza, I set it outside to rise up. It did rise up nice and warm up there. So I'm gonna get some pizza crust baked. I'm gonna start them in the oven here just so they can start, and then I'll take them outside on the pizza oven so they can cook out there and they can finish up. Just a simple, easy lunch. They're doing finishing up school right now. We're getting done. I'm like, we're getting there where we're getting to the end. I know we still got you know a couple months left, but still, getting less and less is always a good thing. So let me just roll this out. It smells delicious. It'll be good, easy. I might do... Do I do all of it now? Hmm. I might bake all the... I'm just debating. Bake all the crust now and we have some today and tomorrow. I probably will do that. That's what I'll do. not to cook all the pieces out because I don't really want to today. That's okay. I can do more tomorrow. So I'm going to take it and put it in. <laughs> as long as I get in the refrigerator and it doesn't rise up anymore, we should be good. So I might have to kind of, until it gets cold, go back in my refrigerator and kind of punch it down a few times. But it just takes that few extra minutes to get chilly. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to cover it with wax paper right now because I might have to punch it down. Then as it gets cold, it won't rise up anymore. And then tomorrow, what we want to have. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, that's okay. And then um, when we make more tomorrow, I can just take it out and use what we're gonna do. Okay, Amazon arrived, so I've got my tripod, hopefully. I lost my box cutter. I said, Jensen looked for it. I'm like, who took my box cutter? Once they know it's somewhere, it's taken. I'll use my scissors here. So we got pool testers. These things are a lot. I think they were, we went to Ace, they were $25. For pool testers, so we are out. So we got some of these, and then I got a new tripod, which same one that I have. So I'm gonna open up and change this out. So I got the same exact tripod. This is good. The only thing, sometimes this part gets loose and comes out, and these legs like bend. But for the most part, I mean, I've had my tripod for a long time. Well, since last year, I think I had a year of this. The little pin on mine broke. This is a good one. I'll show you when I take it off that one. So I'm gonna just switch this over. So this one right here, my little this leg, it broke. It's dropped many times, so it broke. So it just slides. That's well, it's good right now, but it slides in when it is off a little bit. So it just doesn't do very good when you're, you're doing a filming. So I like to have the same one because then you know, you know your camera stand. It doesn't have to relearn something new. It's good. And then my trash can came for outside. We got these, the Echo Company. We got all those trash cans for the bathrooms, and they work really good. So now I'm debating. We had one outside, but they needed it in the garage, and so I gave my old trash can, which is pretty looking yucky. So we put it in the garage. So now I got this one. I'm like. Our trash can we have inside is we've been using forever. It's brown. It's more for like outside. It's one of those like deck ones, but we use so much trash. Like I feel like we need that inside, but it doesn't match anything in your kitchen. You can't get it in any other color. You can get a black one. It's just not as good as that one. Your trash gets stuck. So this is a bigger one. So I'm gonna this is gonna go outside, but I'm deciding like maybe I could put it inside and we could use this here. So we'll see. So I'm gonna open it up. definitely a heavy duty trash can. They give you trash bags with it, which is awesome. So I'm gonna see, I might put this in the kitchen and we'll kind of see how it does. I don't know, it might be one of those things that we stick it outside, but it's nice because it goes flat up against the wall. Like that, holds the bag in the back here. Has the bag holder. Nice, and then the lid. It is an open lid. I know people don't like open in their kitchen stuff, but I like it easier to throw stuff in. So we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna stick this here just for a little bit today. We very well might use it. We will see how. It's one of those things that I know it's gonna be full and then we'll end up putting this one outside. But you know what, if this just gets so full like within a day and we're like, okay, wow, that's way too much trash. 
then uh, we'll switch it out and we'll put this outside because that would be great for outside like when we're out by the pool because we always have trash and it always just gets you know sit in the yard or whatever so and it gets forget to burn so that'll be really good these are good good quality like heavy duty very heavy duty good trash can just like my little bathroom trash can so this will work and it doesn't slide i like that it's like rubbery and grippy it's like an industrial you need industrial in this household for sure mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna make some pizzas now. So we're gonna do the crust. I cooked it here. We're gonna make these and then I'm gonna go take them out and cook them in the pizza oven. So it's something yummy for lunch. It's super sunny and beautiful outside, so I'm gonna throw the pizzas in the oven here. Sometimes I cook with the pizza right on the, of the part. I'm just gonna do the pan in there today. It's awful windy here. So springtime must be the windy season in Florida. I'm realizing that, but it's very nice. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna do some swimming. We're getting stuff done inside, and the pizza's made. It's nice cooking them outside. Something different, something fun. Let me go check out my stuff over here, see if my things are dry. Summer dry. I'm gonna put those aside for laying flat. See if they dry. We'll see. I put our bed, our trash can outside. We'll see how we'll see how it did. <laughs> Jen's is like, oh, I like this one better. So this just means you have to empty it more often. Cause we could do like once a day trash takeout, and then um, if it's any more, it's just shoved in there. So that's all. We'll see. Maybe we'll downsize. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maxine's over there. It's beautiful out. It's so nice. The wind chimes. Sorry on the wind chimes. It's just a gorgeous day. Windy and. Beautiful. So we're finishing up. We're getting pizza is cooking over here. So they only takes a few minutes to walk to get them done. And then I heated up. I'm gonna do some fried pickles. I put those on a cookie sheet too, because we had some from the weekend. I whatever reason we bagged everything up. The fried pickles got shoved in the back of the refrigerator, so you didn't even see them. I'm like, and those are usually the first things to go. So I'm like, the fried pickles. Oh, but everything else was so good. They all loved everything. They loved the corn dogs. The um, we like the remember the taquito things those i thought were delicious they were better in an egg roll wrapper than um a flour still good in the flour but better in an egg roll so the cuban sandwich little cuban egg rolls were delicious winner all around for everything definitely a winner all around i'm excited to make some more hopefully this week if life goes easy i'll try some my hand at donuts we'll see how the week unravels and goes and it's good so then we're just having lunch continuing with work Okay, pan works good. You just can't fit, obviously, as many pizzas in there, but I'm just gonna take this in and then wait for the next one's almost done and take, keep, we're rotating. Okay, next one right here. So I just keep rotating them, throwing them in. This is good, so lunch is easy. Just got one more to do. The other one I pulled out, it's just Jensen's. I put his in for a little bit longer in that nice cheese. Melts so nice. And then look at right here. I got this in here. So I planted my two tomato plants and look at this, like this got broken off. So I'm gonna have to let that regrow. We had terrible windstorms. I set them out on here and they bent over and it looks like it broke right here. So my first planting is already broken. So I'm sure that will just break off and then uh, regrow more, hopefully. But that's good, the onions, these are looking floppy. So hopefully that won't be too many in one pot. We'll see if we can do something with that. So excited, we'll see. I told Greg, Greg's like, why don't we just put something in the backyard? I said, no, I wanna see if it'll even grow here first. Cause if I can grow it in a little pot, surely It'll grow in the backyard. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to go in. Get one more pizza's here. Kids are going to eat. And then now we'll continue with our day. It is a gorgeous, sunshiny day. So you know what we're doing? We're going to go in the pool right now. <laughs> the kids and I, we're finished. Um, we're done with the day. I'm like, you know what? Let's just get our bathing suits on. Let's go swimming while the sun is out. It's beautiful. Breezy. I keep saying windy. It's breezy. Breezy is the correct terminology for it. Beautiful outside. So we're going to close today's video and enjoy our day outside. So you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your Monday. Come back tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do. Food, life, all those good things. So you have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Bye.